Chernobyl is best known for one of the most horrific nuclear mistakes of the 20th century. Thanks to the onset of capitalism, this desolate hellhole also has a bizarre new flourishing industry, tourism. Gaggles of camera-wielding Westerners are flooding the area to gawk mawkishly at this melancholy mecca to industrial mismanagement. And the poor soul who has to show them around? Rimmer. As a tour guide in Chernobyl, she's got the worst job in the wake of perestroika. This is 60, 60 dollars, uh, breakfast included. All the rooms look the same, we will open you the next one, and you will see that only the colors will be different. And for no extra charge, you'll get those ghastly curtains thrown into the package. Japanese uh, joke that this is Chernobyl Hilton. <laughs> That's a joke, of course. That's not Hilton, of course, but nevertheless, it's nothing to be ashamed of. This hotel is within the 30 kilometer exclusion zone, which surrounds the core of the disaster. The attractions include scenes of desolation and industrial catastrophe, empty dormitories, and barren factories, all with eerie echoes of a dreadful error. The radiation levels are still high, but that doesn't deter tourists like Roxanne. It was something like um, $250 for, for a day trip, which seemed really quite a bit. But then I thought, how often do you get to visit a nuclear power station, particularly one that's still radioactive? Tour guide would make jokes about uh, the fruit that was growing on the trees and how they would pick the apples and take them back and give them to the boss. At the end of the tour, Rimmer insists on a final radiation check. Although today's party gets the all clear, the risks of radiation poisoning can never be underestimated. I think my mother was quite horrified actually that I was going to such a radioactive place, but um, I haven't grown anything since I got back. For Rimmer, it's a constant cycle with the risks ongoing. She's given a shot of vodka and sent back to the site where yet another tour party has arrived.